you know that song that comes on the radio and you just want to like jam to it? It's a cruel, cruel summer. I love, that's like one of my favorite, favorite songs. I love that song. <clears throat> and it's actually from one of my, one of my favorite movies. I have a ton of favorite movies. <laughs> Karate Kid. I know, I'm, I'm such a, I'm such an 80s baby, but that's such an awesome song by Bananarama. Love that song. Anyway, and it's so hard to pick up the camera and start vlogging when such a good song is on. I'm sorry, but sometimes songs take precedence over vlogging for a moment, but that's okay. Like Def Leppard, I will even crank a Def Leppard. I'm like, oh yeah, hold on just a second. Let's show some respect, please. Let's show some respect. <laughs> anyway, good morning, friends. Happy Monday. Look. My, I, my driveway is still full of ice. I went down like um, halfway like on the grass all the way down, but I'm hoping today it shall, should be melted. I don't know. We shall see. There's still some patches here in this parking lot, but I am currently parked outside of my nail salon. It has been a month, a month since I had my nails done. A little over a month actually, because what's today's date? Today's date is the the 22nd. Oh yeah, I had my nails done like I think on December 20th or the 19th or something like that. Anyway, crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Anyhow, um, they are definitely needed because you can see like they just need, I mean, just bad. Um, and they need to be shortened because I don't do like very long nails. I always keep my nails fairly short anyway. Um, and these have been just driving me crazy. It is, yeah. <laughs> if you guys, you know, you know, if you guys get your nails done and you know, if you go longer than like the two week, three week mark and you ended up into the four week mark, four and a half, you're like, mm, yeah, like I said the other day, I'm literally like Francine on the corner of Hot Mess Express and third. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I get my nails done like every two weeks and this drives me crazy when it's not. I know problems, right? Anyway, nonetheless, how is everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing great. I hope everybody is thawing out. <laughs> I hope everybody stayed safe. It has been quite the week, I tell you. Yesterday, Brian and I ventured out. We went to, um, we went over to his, like, local office here, or where he, um, rents space, um, to do classes and stuff. So we had to go over there yesterday and pick up all of his computers, and then we went, tried to go to Starbucks, but the line was too long, and he wasn't having it. <laughs> like, that's fine. I don't like waiting in these lines either. I don't expect you to have to wait for me. Um, uh, so we, uh, then after that, we went over to Bass Pro Shop because he had a gift card um, to get, uh, to use from Christmas. So we went over to Bass Pro and then we came back over here and ate at our like little local Mexican restaurant. I was, would have rather had Rosie's, but the Rosie's isn't open on Sundays. So... I ended up with just this Mexican place, which is just as good. They are just, they are like right underneath Rosie's. So like I go Rosie's, then this place right here, and it's so good. So we're good. Um, uh, just another couple little updates. My son is on his way uh, today and tomorrow. Tomorrow will be his last day of driving, I hope. I have a hair in my face. That's why I'm doing that. Um, tomorrow will hopefully be his last day of driving. It will take him all day to get here. Um, last night he stopped in Cheyenne, Wyoming. That's where he stayed last night. Um, he has been obviously, um, sharing his location with me, letting me know obviously where he's at. He calls, he talks, all this good stuff. Let's go get my nails done. Good morning, friends. My son is coming today. <laughs> he will be here this evening, early this afternoon. I'm guessing anywhere between 4.30 and 5 o'clock. That is just like my guess. Um, he kind of gave me an, a guesstimate um, and where his ETA was. And it says about 3.30, but give or take traffic, gas, all that stuff. So he will be here though. Very, very excited about that. And I just realized I... Yeah. Okay. I forgot to grab some stuff, but that's okay. I can go do it another time. Um, but hey, hello and welcome. So I kind of have this little setup here. Um, I'm not exactly sure how well it's going to work or how, how long it's going to work, but we will figure it out. I'm hoping that it lasts quite some time and uh, yeah, that I can actually 
use that up here, hands-free type of deal, which is great. Um, maybe for a little bit, hold on. Alrighty, so I feel better just getting out of my subdivision before I start filming anything. So hey, so right now I'm actually gonna go run a few errands. I want to go to Lowe's because I wanna pick up some, I am out of um, some of my like blanket protector thingies. So I'm gonna go pick up a few of those, a little Ziploc baggy kind um, or whatever they have available. And then um, I wanted to run into Kirkland's really quick. And yeah, I just kind of thought that you guys would wanna hang around with me a little bit today. And uh, I, am, I am getting my hair done on Thursday and I am so ready for my hair <laughs> to be like trimmed and colored because yeah it's pretty bad so but I have a whole like different like style that I'm going to be doing um I'm going to try to do a balayage type of look where it's like gonna like darker and then lighter um yeah okay hang on just a second I got I'll, I'll let you guys go I'll talk with you guys later uh, I ran out and did a few things uh, earlier today, <clears throat> and I actually kind of just got back. I stopped off at Zaxby's and got a salad. It was absolutely delicious. It was the Asian Zenzation salad, the same one that I got the other day. That thing is so good. <laughs> I absolutely love that salad. And it's funny, I had went there around 11 o'clock, and I said, there's nobody in line right now. I'm just going to go ahead and get in line, and then I'm going to go to Home Goods. And I'm so glad that I did, because by the time I got out of Home Goods, the line was wrapped around the building again. <laughs> so I made a good decision. Um, speaking of Home Goods, I wanted to share a few things with you guys that I picked up while I was at Home Goods. I also went into Kirkland's while I was over there as well. <clears throat> So one of the things that I picked up um, at um, Home Goods were these really pretty Valentine's towels. I think these are so pretty. Um, this one is like white with floral on it. And then this one is pink with florals on it. These are absolutely, I just think they're so like Victorian-ish really pretty Victorian-ish. <laughs> I can't think of anything else. I just think it's Victorian-ish. And then um, these really pretty towels as well. This one came undone. But this one just has like a red towel with it. And then these ones are just kind of floral. And um, I just kind of bought them both because they kind of like work together and match. So I got those. And then I picked up these um, hand towels um, for the bathrooms. Um, they they were on clearance for $10 for two of them. And I like the really nice thick ones. Um, I like to put, obviously we have, um, we have five bathrooms. So um, I have to have hand towels in like every bathroom because every bathroom does get used, especially when we have guests over. Um, so always have to have some nice hand towels. So I picked up those. I picked up this mug at Home Goods because it's actually so so pretty and I love that it's like a flat pink color it's not like that shiny like inside here where it's like a shiny glossy it's like flat pink and all the hearts around it are like those flat colors as well it's so pretty and I'm like okay yes gotta have this mug for the Valentine's and if you really like look at it every once in a while like those that gold heart will like pop in the color. It's so pretty, I love it. And then I picked up um, these uh, like floral picks at Kirkland's as well. And I know exactly where I'm gonna put these. So I was kind of like, been kind of looking around to find some perfect picks for um, one of my vases that I have. And so I found them, I got four of those. And then at, um, Kirkland's I picked up this cute little bunny now I saw this bunny um, when I was at the Kirkland's in Panama City a while ago a couple weeks ago two weeks ago and I fell in love with the bunny but I just didn't get it while I was there um, but I finally went to our Kirkland's and I picked it up that's the only little bunny that I got and then I picked up this um, throw blanket to put in my son's room because it matches his bedding, which I did get all of the bedding um, put on his bed, fresh sheets, clean sheets, and all of his bedding has been washed and it's put on the bed. I did get the cow picture. That is something that I got to hang up today. Dang it, I forgot to get the wire stuff. Dang. And um, 
So I got that today. I might have some extra wire here. I'll have to look. Um, but I'm going to put this like in the basket that's at the end of the bed. Or I had the other like pillow stuffed in there with a the blanket. Um, not that he really cares about the fanciness of it, but mama does. <laughs> so um, I, did, I did all that. And then um, yesterday when I got my nails done, I got my nails um, with like the French manicure. So pretty. Um, my nail lady had a gift for me because we missed her wedding it was on um new year's day and we missed it because brian and i were both um under the weather and um she gave me a gift and i forgot my gift to her yesterday so i'm gonna swing back over there and give that to her um the next time i swing by there um anyway she gave me two of these really pretty um like china sets a teacup and plate um and it says um from china she's chinese so and then it comes with this really cute like stirring spoon and it all it's very very pretty it's like white with like the gold um like gold color in it yeah that's so pretty anyway i told brian i'm like i i don't want to ever use these they're just so pretty so what i what am i going to do with them i think i'm just going to display them in my china cabinet because they're so pretty and i just um I don't want to use them because I don't want to break them or ruin them or anything like that. But I thought that was very, very pretty. Very, very generous of her. Very, very kind for her to get me a gift. That was so nice. And then um, another thing I wanted to show you guys too. So um, you guys know we are going to Germany in June. And um, uh, we're going to uh, Germany, Austria, Switzerland, and France. So all those places that we're going to be going to, um, I have to have the right plugs are the right cords um that fit into their outlets so i had to buy now the ones that we use for ireland does not fit in the ones in switzerland that's unfortunate um so i went ahead and i bought three of these um which actually have like usb um that usb usb c um plugs in it and then it has like regular like plugs that we can use here but this this is the one that you have to plug into their, you know, outlets. And then I can plug in all my regular stuff here. So I bought three of those. Um, two for us, me and Brian, and then one for my son, Brandon. That way he will have um, plugs as well so he can use those. Um, he will be, um, because of how, like, the rooms and stuff go, We the only time I think he's going to have his, like, own room, uh, and that's because of their, like, laws or rules or something like that, is in austria i think other than that we are sharing rooms with him or sharing a room with him um and it actually just makes it a lot like easier and sensible to do all that stuff instead of like him having his own room so we're all just going to be sharing the room which is fantastic i'm here looking so forward to it uh, my friend has sent out the itinerary and it is jam-packed full of so many exciting things and i cannot wait to experience all of those things and um experience those things and share it with you guys so it's going to be a lot of fun i'm looking so forward to it uh, my son will actually be here in about four hours three and a half to four hours give or take traffic and stopping for gas and all that stuff so i'm gonna um kind of get some stuff done around here and then i know he's gonna be i asked him if he wanted me to make like a pot of chili that way he doesn't have to go back out again i said or do you want to go grab a bite to eat he said no we can go grab a bite to eat and i said okay cool so he and i will go grab a bite to eat uh, brian is um <clears throat> about an hour north no an hour i'm trying to think yeah northeast of here he's about an hour northeast of here and he's um training so um He's not going to be to be able to join us tonight or until Friday. Um, and then Saturday, I leave for Disney. So, um, but right now, I'm going to go ahead and get some stuff done around here. I'll probably end up changing my shirt because um, right now I have my vest on or my jacket on. And uh, I'm going to change and put something on more comfortable, change my shoes, and just kind of get a few more things done around here. And then I will show you guys my son's room as soon as it is completely finished. And I'm hoping hoping that i can actually um get that stuff so i can um put his picture up so yeah all right let's uh get busy let's get some stuff done before he shows up Alrighty. so his room is finished i have did all the bedding and stuff yesterday um i actually even got a brand new mattress cover for the mattress 
um, and I hung up the picture. It looks really great in here. Again, I don't know. I just did it as like for him. He can do whatever he wants to do in here. I think eventually we're going to probably move this down just a little bit and put a desk over there. That way he can have a desk in front of the window. That way he can put his computer and stuff on there. So he'll have all, all kinds of like room, all the stuff that he needs. But yeah, for the most part, his room is finished and he can do whatever else with it he wants. And any of that bedding and stuff that's on the bed right now, um, he can take with him when he when he moves out, when he gets his, his apartment or his house. We're hoping a house. So we're hoping that he will um, um, get a house within the next six months to a year or so, just depending on his um, job situation. So um, yeah, so right now though, I did all that and I have to take some of that stuff upstairs because I have, oh, I put new pillows on my um, chairs out here as well. Okay, that's the wrong light. Um, I put these, these are from Kirkland's. These are so pretty. I just love like this um, houndstooth print on it and they were perfect navy blue and I knew that, I knew that they would look so great on these chairs. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to vacuum up in here a little bit because Brian tracked in a bunch of like grass um, yesterday. So I've swept it over to the side and I got to vacuum that up now. I'm going to take all of this stuff upstairs, clean up the kitchen, clean off the counters, and we should be good to go. I think he's got about um, two and a half hours before he gets here, he said. So I have two and a half hours to get all this stuff done. Another thing I wanted to show you really quick. I hung up these towels and put one here. It looks so pretty. And then I put one right over here as well. Right there. So it looks really cute. And I like the way that they turned out. I just like the pops of red everywhere. So, all right, now I'm gonna get busy. So this is all of the things that I have to take upstairs. Um, those were the pillows that were on the bed. Um, these are the pillows that were on the chairs in the living room. And of course, this is just some like faux plants and sticks that I have to take upstairs. This is something that I got to just take upstairs and then I got to put the waters upstairs as well. But as far as everything else, everything else is pretty much done. And uh, yeah, all I gotta do is just carry that stuff up here shortly and everything else is looking good. I've kind of mopped a few spots in here on the floor and um, uh, vacuumed in here again and got everything all picked up. Everything is straightened up. Everything looks great. So yeah, I'm just waiting for, waiting for my son to show up. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because I know um, he and I are gonna go grab a bite to eat here um, later on uh, after he kind of gets in and settled and stuff. We're gonna go grab a bite to eat. And uh, then I will see you guys um, in my next video. I think the next one I'm gonna start packing for Disney trip. Um, Courtney and I leave on Saturday for Disney. So um, yeah, I think tomorrow, tomorrow or Thursday I will be packing. Um, I also have a hair appointment on Thursday, so. I gotta get all that stuff done. And I think that's about it. That's all I wanted to say, but thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.